Hey, welcome back. Uh, today's not going to be a fishing video. We're going to be talking about bass clubs. So, do you own a boat? And have you been looking to join a bass club? Um, there's some bass clubs and tournaments that can be real expensive. If you live in the Panama City area, um, Lake Seminole area, Apalachicola area, our club may be just for you. So, we actually have three clubs. They're all sister clubs. There's the Panama City Bass Masters. They're a, a middle-aged club. They usually fish the Apalachicola region, occasionally Seminole. Then we have the Lunkers Bass Club. We fish mostly Seminole, sometimes Talquin. We do fish Eufaula, and we also do the Apalachicola River, and we do different landings there. Then there is the Mossy Backs, Mossy Backs Bass Club. They are um, uh, kind of a retirees club, 60 years or older. I'm not going to get too much into them. I'm going to focus mostly on Lunkers and Panama City Bassmasters. So these are two great local clubs. They've been around since the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, great group of guys. Some of the guys, like myself, I fish both clubs. There is a difference in the clubs. The rules are different. Now they're both singles bass clubs. And you'll be fishing out of a boat singly with no with no rear boater okay so it's a singles tournaments and um, the Panama City Bassmasters is a $25 entry fee so those really budget minded and none of these clubs were fishing to win the big bucks okay even Lunkers which is $50 if you win first place you may win hundred fit you know $200 or whatever uh, $250 you're not winning thousands of dollars. So this is a budget-minded club just so people can get together, get a little competitiveness, and go out and have fun and a little bit of bragging rights, okay? So I am going to get more into each club, and I'm going to take you to their webpage shortly. I just wanted to give kind of a brief overview on both clubs in general and, um, you know, go from there. So uh, it's a great group of guys. If you're interested, check out the rest of the video. I'm going to go over their webpage, how to contact people, and yes, you can even contact myself. And I want you to read, if you're interested, the rules and all that, and that will answer a lot of your questions that you would maybe email myself or somebody else. Obviously, if there's a question that's not in there or I haven't answered in this video, please feel free to send myself, uh, Jim Varnes or uh, Ken Varnes or Jim Rains. Uh, an email. So, so the Lunkers and the Pit and the Bassmasters. We have 12 tournaments a year. The Bassmasters, their year starts in December. The Lunkers Bass Club starts in November. Uh, the Lunkers Bass Club. We have two two-day tournaments a year. In March, we fish Lake Seminole for two days, and we stay in cabins or a hotel. In October, we fish Eufaula for two days and we stay at some nice cabins on the lake up there. The Bassmasters, they do not do two-day tournaments. Uh, they just do 12 one-day tournaments. The Bassmasters, the tournaments are held on the first Saturday of every month, and then the Lunkers is the third Saturday of every month. Okay, so to access the clubs, go to Google and type in Panama City Bassmasters. This screen should pop up. Give that a click, and you'll come to the uh, Bassmasters homepage. From the Bassmasters homepage, you can get to the Mossy Backs page and the Lunkers Bass Club page. On here, you have everything you need from tournament results and schedules, members, tournament rules, and the bylaws. Those are the most two important things that you need to read if you want to join the club. That way, you'll know all the information, when the meetings are, and how you become a member. So for the Bassmasters, you actually get voted in and you have to go to the meeting. The meeting is at Sunny's Barbecue in Lynn Haven, and um, you would contact Jim Rains, let him know you're coming. It's in the back room in Sunny's. They'll uh, tell you the day. It says everything down here. I'm not going to read everything in this video, uh, but it's the first Monday of each month at 6 p.m. at Sunny's Barbecue. You go there, they'll vote you in or they'll vote you out. Um, you do need a boat again, and um, and then after that. You will be a, uh, you'll pay your dues, you'll be a member, and you can fish. With the Lunkers Bass Club, so we'll click over to Lunkers. 
For the Lunkers Bass Club, we do not have at this time monthly meetings anymore. So you would contact Ken Varnes, and I will be posting these names below uh, in the video, or when I make the video, I'll put their names on the screen, um, and let them know that you're interested in fishing. You show up at the boat ramp the morning of the tournament. We'll let you know where it is and where we're launching. You pay your dues, you pay the entry fee for that tournament, and you can fish. Um, and we will confirm everything through Ken Varnes at that point, but that is the way we are running things right now. I cannot say about the Mossy Back Bass Club as I'm not a member, but you will contact Jim Rains if you're interested in the Mossy Back. So a quick thing on, the, um, on their websites, it shows all the previous tournaments. We have two tournaments that are actually always in the schedule. This is the two-day tournament at Eufaula. And then we have the two-day tournament in March, and that's at Seminole. That's pretty much every year. The other ones we vote on a week and a half prior. So if you decide to go pre-fish, you can go pre-fish on a Saturday. And then the following Saturday would be the tournament. So if you're not sure where Sneeds Park Landing is, you just click on that. Uh, Google Maps will pop up and it will show you exactly where we launch, the route, the whole nine yards. You just type that into your phone or GPS and away you go. Um, if you wanna know the results and, and pictures from the tournaments, okay, let's just go to April. April was not a big tournament. This was Talquin and we had eight people show up at Talquin. Talquin is not a lot of people's favorites. It is mine, but um, we no, normally fish Seminole. So if you wanted to know more about the person, you can click on there and it will tell you their stats. I'll just click on mine. So I fished, you know, here are the tournaments I fished. Here's the weights I posted and my total points and blah, blah, blah. So as you can see, it's either feast or famine for me because I go to first and a first, then a tenth and a tenth. I got one skunk and then I placed in the middle. So. And it's an okay year, you know. This is my year and a half with the club. So, uh, and I'm still getting used to Florida. That's no excuse. But um, anyways, this is not about me. This is about joining the club. So we'll go back to tournament schedules, yearly standings, and then the leaderboard. So if you want to see how people are doing, let's just go to, uh, you know, we'll go to August here. This is the last one. Currently, I'm in fourth place. Ken Varnes, Buddy, and then Eddie. Uh, and here's our points, number of tournaments we fished, and blah, blah, blah. So all the information is in there. Uh, it gets put in about a week, a week and a half after the tournament, although you get the results instantly and you get paid at the tournament. So now, uh, Panama City Bassmasters, Jim posts his stuff immediately. So by the time you get home or even get on your phone, the results and everything is already in there. Um, if you wanna see prior years, all you gotta do is click on a year and you can see, um, oh, okay, so I but it already clicked, it didn't look like it clicked. But anyways, you just click on a year, here's 2020, and you, can, you wanna see what they did in July, results and pictures in July. It comes up, I was not a member of the club at this time. And, but you can get a, a gist for how much weight was caught at that lake in prior years. So when you go to the lake, you can say, okay, I need you know 10 pounds plus on average after checking all the years, uh, you know, to probably get in the top three, and 15 plus would definitely or hopefully definitely get me in the top three. But it's a good it's a good tool to use. Um, if you're interested in uh, seeing what the prior years were. And that's about it. So again, bylaws and tournament rules. Lunkers and the other clubs have different rules. We have different scoring systems and um, you really need to read them both. And both, both clubs are right now are not accepting boaters, just boaters. And you will be fishing alone. You can't ha bring a friend. Uh, who will be your permanent non boat So hey, there's a quick overview of the websites. I hope you make up your mind. We can use members. The average uh, tournament is 9 to 11, 12 boats. 
and we'd like to get a little more, okay? Have more people fishing, get some more people into the sport. So until next time, take care on tight lines and I hope to see you at the launch ramp.